This time on Rad Rat Video, we talk about the best way to skate with OCD. Is there a certain trick set that works best? Let's figure it out. Welcome back to Rad Rat Video, a channel where we talk about skateboarding in all of its forms, and I like to answer your questions here on the series Ask Rad Rat. If you have any questions, please go to radratvideo.com and submit them. There's a form on the homepage for it. It's really easy. Uh, in the last three months, I've gotten one month's worth of questions, so I'm getting a little concerned about that. But um, for now, I've got a few. The first one is from Bob Bass. Who says, can you skate in non-skate shoes? I have an ultra comfortable pair of Allbirds that I'd like to skate in, but they don't look like skate shoes. Uh, of course you can. The biggest problem that you'll have, there there are, are two. The first is that like the kickflip spot is usually not, it's, you'll, you'll probably tear through that quicker if it's not a skate shoe. There's normally an extra panel there and lots of stitching and stuff to give it a little bit more to eat through before you uh, get all the way through the shoe. And skate shoes are normally flat and the soles are, you know, you can, they're made to be able to feel the board. That's not true with different types of shoes. Now, that doesn't mean you can't, obviously. You can still skate in all kinds of shoes, especially like back in, in the day before skate shoes were really a thing or there were only a couple different kinds out there. Most people skated in non-skate shoes, you know, and I, I did the same thing because I started skating in about 2001 or so, and uh, I'm pretty sure it was 01, not 100% sure actually, but um, I didn't have any way to get skate shoes because you couldn't buy online at that point. At least I couldn't. I didn't have a credit card and buying online was kind of sketchy at that time. Um, you couldn't really trust all the sites uh, out there. So I would have had to like mail order a catalog to be able to mail order some shoes and my feet are super flat. So like anything with a lot of arch support was a problem. So I skated in basketball shoes for a while, um, before it started to be more popular to be able to find skate shoes. Um, so yeah, there's nothing, nothing that stops you from doing it. They might not work as well, but it doesn't matter. You know, like skate shoes come in all different styles to look like different kinds of shoes. So like who cares really? All right, the next question is from Keller, who says, uh, I was just watching the history of the half cab shoe on YouTube, and I was wondering which came first, the trick name or the shoe? I know the caballerial was invented way before the shoe, but were people calling fakey, what, fakey 180s half cabs already, or did people start using that term only after the shoe was released? Also, any tips on cab flips? No, I don't have any tips on cab flips, sorry. All right, um, so the half cab shoe came out in 1992. The caballerial was invented in 1981, but the question is, was half of it called a half cab yet? Or was the half cab shoe, uh, you know, what, what named it? So the cab, cab, there was, was it called a caballerial shoe or was it just called the cab? I think it was called the cab. Um, it was like a, a, a high top shoe. And street skaters were cutting off the high top part and they would just put like stickers or, you know, something over it. Some would even stitch them if they knew how, and they were doing that. And so cab like went to the, the company and was like, Hey, why don't we cut off the top of it? Um, make it like a, you know, not a high top, like a mid or, or a low, and we'll call it the half cab and we'll put a, uh, you know, and there's like a graphic of a half cab on it. Let's call it the half cab. Take a logo of me doing one from a picture silhouette and name it the half cab and bam so i found this clip i'm not sure if i can show it but if i can you just saw it and uh so what he said was we'll put a picture of me doing one on it so he came up with the name half cab and then said let's put me doing one on it which means that that name was already being used so the half cab trick name came before the shoe i don't know exactly when because like, I don't know if that would have even come, like, been invented first. You know, there wasn't as much backwards stuff at the time. So to start backwards, do a half cab, land backwards, because I'm thinking, you know, it was all in, you know, banks and pools and stuff at the time. Well, pools, you wouldn't have been able to pop at, you know, before then. Um, I do like a fakey, you know, like, I'm, I'm not sure when that was done. Uh, the 360 may have even come first. I'm not entirely sure. I, I doubt it, but I, I couldn't find... A lot of info on that, but I, I know the name at least came before the shoe. That much is for sure. 
All right. Next question is from Zara, who says, something seen in many recent skate videos is hill bombs on grass hills or riding on grass in general. This has opened up new lines or gaps that wouldn't have been considered previously, expanding the possibilities of what is skatable. What do you think will be the next creative expansion in skateboarding? So I have definitely seen that. Um, and there was a clip I saw like a month or two ago, I watched everything on like every part that was posted in the last year on the uh, Thrasher, just like gobble them all up. And, uh, the, so I don't know which part this was cause I saw so many back to back, but there was one where the guy did like a back tail on this longer, uh, ledge and there was like a grass hill. So like this back tail and like dropped in on, on the grass, rode that down and dropped back on this, like a, a sidewalk or parking lot or something like that. And it was really cool. Cause like you look at this, like this cool ledge, you can roll up to it just fine, but you couldn't possibly, I don't think it was possible to slide to the end. I think there was, you know, like something there or whatever, but like, uh, you wouldn't think of that as a spot, you know, but if you could do the back tail ride on the grass, then it, you know, it, it counts. So I was thinking about like, what would make a good grass clip? Because you, you know, to, to me, I think it's like you, you can land in grass, but you've got to be able to pop back into concrete somewhere, you know? Um, so yeah, like if you could land something in grass, I mean, it'd be fine if you just like did a trick onto a hill, rolled down the grass and eventually you jumped off. But if you could land a trick, roll on grass and get back to concrete, it's like, that's a trick of its own, you know? So I think that's, that's pretty cool. And there's are, there are a lot of new options. If you're going to consider, um, skating on grass, it's pretty tough though. You gotta have like short grass, pretty dry, you know, if it's at, if it's moist at all, you just sink in, you know? So that's kind of a tough thing to pull off, but I came up with some more things. Um, so there are rocks and trees which are done a lot by uh, Daywon Song and Richie Jackson. He did trees and he also did a, a chain. He did a board slide on a chain one time, which was crazy. So it's like these two poles and just like a chain, you know, like it's a, a, a fence or, or something like that. And he's sliding on, on the chain and as he slides further, the chain is going down. So the end part is getting steeper. Then he like launches off the, the end of the chain. I would, I never would have thought, you could board slide on a chain until I, I saw that. That was crazy. Um, so like that kind of stuff has been done, but there's some more that could be done with trees and, and, and rocks and chains and stuff like that. What about a skyscraper roof? So I say skyscraper because I was looking at the Denver convention uh, center, the, the, the roof there. I was, I was downtown. I was kind of up on the top of a, a building looking down on it. And there's this giant hip up there. And by giant, I don't mean super steep. It's kind of, it doesn't, I mean, it was pretty far away, but it looked like kind of normal, but just really, really big. So it, it'd be tough to skate. You have to get like a ton of speed to ride all the way up this hip just to get to the top of it. But you know, like the, the that type of, uh, of building, like all this stuff is curved up there because it's trying to channel, you know, if it, it if it's snow, it was snowing at the time, but if it was snow or, 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 you know, rain or whatever, it has to channel it all to certain places so it, it can drain, right? So there's a lot of curves of like, you know, where it, it all goes. And so there's no corners and stuff like that. And I, I've just seen a lot of spots that look skatable. Now, I don't know how you get up there <laughs> and I don't know what this, the surface is like up there. It always seemed to me like it'd be kind of soft. Uh, you know, it just, it just kind of looks like it. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, but like the, I'm not talking about like a roof gap. I'm talking about skating the rain channel features on a flat roofed building. I think there's something to be done there uh, that I haven't seen yet. What about street stalls? You just don't see them. Uh, people don't do stalls ever. Like, I don't even think you would see like a vert stall uh, in, a, in a part at all either. But there's something to be said for that. So like what if there's a really narrow thing? You know, there's like a... It's just something hanging out of, you know, like a brick that's sticking out of the, of the wall slightly or something like that. And, and you can come up, do like a stall and come back down. Or like a really, really short slide 
so you can like come up to it just like touch the the n nose to it and just come like right back off it's not really a nose slide but it's just like a, a little stall and you come back down somehow i haven't seen people trying to do stalls um there's there'd be some kind of cool way to do a stall like on something and like pop over it and land back down um I'm, you know like it's it, it's not as cool as doing like a really long grind or something like that but there's a way to do a, a stall somewhere that would be pretty cool uh, I, I just haven't seen that uh, being explored that much. Um, okay, how about this one? A quick, like a quick-footed power slide, and then doing a, a trick. So I've been playing a True Skate, which is a a game on. Well, it's on my tablet, and so you can like if you turn real hard, you like power slide, and so I would like roll up to some stairs power slide and then do like a switch flip or something like you know quick so you slide it out and right after you're done sliding you're you're popping and i saw a part again like i was saying i watch a ton of parts like back to back and someone was doing that kind of stuff where they would like roll up to just like a, a drop not stairs because you, you lose speed going this way but like just some kind of drop power slide and kick flip you know like right after the the slide i think they were doing it where they slid like halfway and then did the trick sideways, I think. I'm not sure. But there's there's a lot of stuff that you could do. You could you could slide up, do like a stall on on the gap, and then pop and clear it after that. You know? Stuff like that could be possible. It doesn't even have to be a slide. You could like do a trick, land and immediately do something down that gap. Um, I don't see that often. It could be done pretty well. Um, so those are the ideas I have of like you know, street options like street trick categories that haven't been explored that much all right last question today is from leroy and he says hello i have obsessive compulsive disorder and i want to start skateboarding on a more serious uh, serious level the problem is that it really bothers me to think about uh, skating street because i would hate to scratch up my trucks uh, ruin the deck graphic destroy my shoes etc the disorder makes me want to keep my things pristine and perfect as much as possible so what type type of skateboarding would be best for me vert seems tough to get started with because even just dropping in is a huge trick for me but uh, this form of skating would pro probably be less damaging to the gear than street um, so he's talking about you know how to make sure he doesn't scratch up his his gear um, so he says right now I push around the park and then I clean off my board uh, after every every session so the question is which form of skating is the least destructive on your equipment thanks so I'm not giving you any kind of medical advice because I don't know m much about it beyond what you've you've said um, but I will answer your question to the best of my my abilities and I have felt similar things like you know when you set up a fresh new board everything looks great get that fresh cut line on that grip tape uh, and then you do like your first slide you know like if I if I set up a, a fresh new board I don't do any slides at first I do like some flat ground I do some kick flips and stuff it feels good to have that board nice and you know, if, if you do a half flip and land upside down, you're gonna scratch up the edges of the grip tape. It's eventually gonna do some damage. And then I'll start doing slides and I don't care as much. So I can kind of get like where you might be, um, like what types of things you're, you're feeling, although not at that, you know, at that type of, uh, of level. But street is probably not gonna work. Um, like grinds and, and slides are a big part, but even just skating flat, you know, every time you pop the board, the tail slides just slightly as it starts to come up in, in the air. So popping uh, anything, any kind of scoop, like a 360 flip or something like that, that's going to scrape along the ground and you're eventually going to wear down the board. And it's going to get sharp, you know. Uh, there's a lot of stuff with that that's going to be kind of tough. Ramps are a pretty good option. Um Although there are, again, lots of stalls. Any kind of stalls, the coping isn't going to touch your truck and it's going to scratch it up just slightly. You know, it's not going to be as bad as, as a grind. But if you do any kind of stall, it's going to scratch it, you know, somewhat. Um, you can get a protective, uh, like these protective um, things that you can put along this, the um, sides of your board. So you would just be sliding on the plastic instead of the actual deck. That might help. But you are still going to do damage to those, so I don't know if that if that if that would work. So if you know skating ramps could could be okay, 
Uh, freestyle is probably going to be your best option. Um, although there's some tricks you're not going to, you're not going to do like a Casper, you know, where you do like a half flip and you land like this, where your tail is on the ground up, upside down, you can land pretty hard and it bends the board. The tail kind of rams along the ground and, and scratches up that way. Stuff on the truck will often be a problem too. Like if you do like a truck uh, tr transfer at all and you go this way you switch trucks like the board will bend and it'll like smash against the ground you're gonna have some tough times with that but there is still lots of freestyle tricks that don't pop and don't do stress to the board you know like uh there's lots of uh, flip tricks you know anything with your hand where you just grab the board and flip it in, in some kind of way there's stuff like that that could work um there's this guy named Dan Gesmer, who just does like carving type stuff. So your board, you're just doing no damage to his board that way. Just like doing lots of turns and standing in different poses and stuff as he turns around. Uh, not a very popular type of skating, but it is an option out there. And that's not going to do a lot of damage. You could probably use the same board for a long, long time that way. So yeah, freestyle, flatland type stuff is going to be your best bet. Ramps are pretty good if you can get past the truck thing, although I'm, I'm not sure if that will work uh, in your case. So yeah, those are my best thoughts. Uh, hopefully some of that uh, w uh, works for you and you can still skate. Uh, but that is it for now. Again, if you have questions, please go to radratvideo.com and submit them there. I really need some more questions and I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for hanging out.